Now, for this next part, we're given that A and B are independent events, and we've also got the probability of A equals a quarter and the probability of A union B equals two thirds. And we've got to find the probability of B. Now, to do this, we need to remember this general rule for the probability of A union B. For the probability of A union B, it's the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersecting with B. It's a rule that is always true. Now, we're told also that A and B are independent. And if this is the case, then we should know that the probability of A intersection B, this term down here, is always then equal to, for independent events, the probability of A times the probability of B. Now we've got the values then for probability of A union B, it is two thirds, and that's going to equal the probability of A, which we have here as a quarter, and then plus the probability of B, minus a quarter again, times the probability of B. So if we take a quarter from both sides, two thirds minus a quarter, we end up with five twelfths. So you've got five twelfths then equals, and you've got probability of B minus a quarter times the probability of B. So that's going to be three quarters times the probability of B. And it follows from this that if we multiply both sides by four and divide by three, you end up with the probability of B equaling 5 twelfths multiplied by 4 thirds. And if you do a bit of cancelling here, or work it out on the calculator, you can see anyway that 4 into 4 goes 1, 4 into 12 goes 3, and you end up with the probability of B equaling 5 over 9. So probability of B then equals 5 ninths.